Okay, so in this video, we're going to walk through how to use OBS Studio or Open Broadcast Studio to be able to stream multiple cameras to your Zoom meeting. And why this is going to be useful is if you're teaching science or any other discipline where it's useful for your students to see you and to see the materials, you can do that at the same time. So you're going to go to this project called obsproject.com. You download it for your appropriate computer, Windows, Mac, or uh, Linux system. And you'll run through the installation process. So when you click on Windows, it'll take you to where you need to download the materials. And so you just click on download. And it should automatically start. You'll see it down at the screen. If not, you can click on the... Um, quick start guide or the download button up here to walk you through the installation process then you're also going to need to go to github and you're going to search for an OBS virtual cam in github and it's going to take you to this OBS virtual cam 2.05 and you'll download the windows installer the exe file you just search for Mac ones um, for a Mac one if you need that um, and what you're going to do is you're going to install that because that is going to allow you to be able to stream OBS through your Zoom or Google Meet account. And that's what we're going to go through here next. And now I'll start setting up my cameras. So let's open up my OBS Studio. I've got it over here. So what we're going to do is first thing is you'll need to create a scene. I've already got a couple of scenes, so we'll make a new one. So I'm gonna call this scene Buffy. And I wanna add a camera and a mic to my scene. So you're gonna go into sources and you're gonna click plus and we're gonna add a video capture device. I'm using a jelly comb as the camera facing me, so I'm just gonna call it jelly. And it's gonna pop up and uh, my jelly camera shows up as a FHD or a full high def camera. And I'm going to click OK and there I am. And what's nice about OSB is I can take that image and I can move it around on the screen which is going to be really useful when we do it with Zoom. Now I'm also using a Yeti microphone so I'm going to do audio import device and I'm going to say Yeti. and I am going to pick Yeti from my device list and now my Yeti microphone shows up and so I can use it to stream my audio through OBS through Zoom. Now since I do a lot of demos and kind of show and tell type things that are important around science and engineering design I have another camera that is mounted kind of over my shoulder such that when I manipulate my materials the students can see it from the front person perspective or my perspective and they have the same materials in front of them so they don't have to reorient the materials in their head which makes manipulation of the manipulables a lot easier so I am going to do another video capture device and that is a Logitech camera that I have mounted and I'm just gonna call it Logi windows gonna pop up and there's my Logitech Pro Cam and there is my Logitech program streaming from above. So this is where I do like my demos around the micro bits, you know, anytime I need to do 3D printing, how to wire something, if I'm doing a science demonstration, or how to demonstrate how to build something, I have that camera running and the students continue to see me. And what's also nice about OBS is I can make these bigger or smaller as needed. And we will do that so that we can see what happens in Zoom. So now let's go to my Zoom meeting. So in Zoom meeting, if it shows up as gray, what you're gonna have to do is down here in your video, you're gonna have to choose OBS camera from the video list. And what it will do is stream the video stream that is in OBS through to Zoom. You do exactly the same thing in Google Meet. And again, if you ever want to just not use OBS, you can just switch back to one of your normal cameras if you want to. So I'm streaming my OBS one in Zoom. And here's what's an interesting phenomenon that happens when you're in Zoom. I'm going to shrink my cameras down so you can see Zoom and kind of what happens in OBS. 
So up here in the upper left is my Zoom session, and down here is my OBS camera. So normally how I do this, I have OBS on one screen and Zoom on another screen so I can manipulate OBS and then it shows up in Zoom. So if I wanted to really highlight something that I am doing as a demo, I can take that image in OBS and zoom in on it and I can drop out of the picture. Or if you wanted to keep yourself in the picture, as you can see in Zoom, I can move up in OBS my little jelly cam. As there's these little plus and minus arrows down here. So I can move up that camera over my other camera and I can shrink it. So then that way students will be able to see me and be able to see what it is that I am doing on the screen. Right? And so then if I want it to again, maybe I want to hide what I am doing so it's becoming distracting for students, I can just mute that camera. It gets muted in Zoom. I can make myself go over here again and I can make myself nice and big again. And so now I'm the focus of what's on the camera and for what's on the students' Zoom video. So I found OBS, the way to stream multiple cameras, to be really useful, particularly if I'm trying to do any kind of demonstration.